And now to the car we have anticipated for quite some time. It is here, the 1967 Corvette Coupe unrestored. 2,996 miles. The McNamara Corvette. And yes, you heard me right. Unrestored. Let's get a look under the hood. Let's talk a little bit about the mechanicals of this car. It's got the factory installed, 390 horsepower, 427 big block, Muncie four speed transmission, and 336 posi. Look at the custom touches that the original owner put on the car the Offenhauser valve covers, the um, emblems from various years Corvettes attached to the top of the air cleaner lid a little bit of extra bling under the hood all added to give it his personal touch all literally untouched for literal decades a time capsule we talk about that all the time I don't think we've ever had a time capsule as authentic as this one guys no and I should point out that those changes could be brought back to original very easily uh, the valve covers yeah. uh, what have you but, it, uh, but, but everybody's afraid to touch it yeah I was exactly. gonna say that who would do that <laughs> right See, no you leave it alone here's yeah. the thing and Bill you you've done a great job of telling us many of the stories that go along with this car that he drove it very sparingly to begin with and then basically parked it and only drove it once in a great while even into the 80s and the, and the, the legend that grew around Colorado Springs was people thought they saw a white 67 Corvette in the middle of the night driving around Colorado, but nobody knew for sure and it was kind of like Bigfoot yes it was a mystery it's almost the legend of Sleepy Hollow did I see that or did I not see that exactly I love that part of the story and you're right he would drive it in the middle of the night when nobody was around right and and only for a couple of miles and then go back to his garage and here's the thing speaking of his garage it was 30 feet away from the neighbors house how do you get a big block Corvette out of the garage without waking up the whole neighborhood? side exhaust I know yeah, right. no it's just a, just so many great aspects to that entire story and in fact when he stopped driving it he told people he sold it right, he didn't exactly. want them to know he even had it anymore and those neighbors didn't realize that it was in the garage for 45 years and yeah he passed away in 2011 the current owner picked the car up from the estate in 2012 and that's the way that car looked pretty much when it was delivered back in 1967. $700,000 bid. JK, talk about the shock waves that, that hit the Corvette and the collector car community when the story kind of exploded and everybody realized that this car is, and the reserve is off. I think, well, wait, he's got a $725,000 bid. Last call, 725, right here. 725, There's the reserve coming off. Big sale, big car, big history here today. Houston, Texas, Mecham wow. Auctions, perhaps the world's finest 1967 Corvette, changing hands. Drops $725,000. The McNamara Corvette. Let's go down to Bill Stevens real quick. Mark uh, Davis receiving congratulations from Frank Meekham, some of the other bidders as well. And well, the moment has arrived, Mark. You've passed the torch. I hope, like I said earlier, I just hope and pray someone will take as good care of it as Donnie and I did. And it's quite possible you may never see that car again. I know. That's the hard part. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. Wow, what a moment here at Meekham Houston. Mark Davis, congratulations from David Newhart, photographer on staff 
at Meekum Auctions, one of the terrific photographers and writers in the entire automotive world. There you, John and I, right behind there, but a great view of that. Great little conversation. Hey, congratulations, brother. Well done. Well done. Good job, Doc.